the fallen idol. Nice rainy day. Love to see it. Oh. Phelps, Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How is that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? Will that be homicide? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? A Chevy oh, Skyline took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. I, I want to get my steps. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that desk. See you later, fellas. Try not to talk too hard. Mm. Look at you bantering with the boys. It's a tear to my eye watching my caterpillar grow wings. I'm just trying to fit in. Educated, hardworking, straight as an arrow. I hate to break it to you, Cole, but you'll never fit in at Central. That's that guy from the papers. It's not that big cake. Bukowski, Jesus Christ, man, come on. I know I'm quick on my feet, but Jesus, you can be a little quicker on yours. What the hell is happening there? Stop just ahead. Crash site, 7.53 a.m. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, Beast of the Amazon. Oh. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now. Guy McAfee? Still I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Phelps, traffic yeah. detective Phelps. Gotta write this stuff down. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You can call this in by megaphone, Enrique. Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Okay. The story is okay. that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Mm -hmm. Was anyone hurt? Mm -hmm. Driver's beat up. Not too bad, considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, he'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton, just okay. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. You want to take a look around? Stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. Oh, One more God. thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. Hmm. What does that mean? Save the red carpet. She's you abrasive. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. Okay. Thank you. And we have an audience. Great. Be so Clear this off. area immediately. This is a secure area. You all need to leave. What this is a crime scene. All of you move along. I'm going to put you on that. Uh, Show's over. Keep moving, all of you. Ancient taffy pull. This is a structure. crime scene. All of you move along. You know, where they freaking uh, tie your arms and legs and pull them. You know, that? that's something. I'm trying to think of unique punishments for justice. You really want to freaking watch a crime scene? You don't have anything better to, to do? Phelps. There, yes. right out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. Oh. Well, I mean, first. Mm. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must yes. have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Yeah, I would imagine, you know, if you, you know, become stiff, you know, that could hurt the brain more in the skull. Mm -hmm. Also, no airbags during this time, so they are very lucky. Yeah, what we got? Panties. Mm -hmm. They've been torn <clears throat> off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for okay. semen when I get back to the lab. Oh, 
Let's see. Oh boy, long letter. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Dear Jesse, please, please, dear, come home. If you're worried about your father, don't be. You always forget. Should I do like a Wisconsin accent? You know? No, I can't do that. Never mind. Eh, he's had a hot temper and he can be very proud, but you are still his little girl and he loves you. I know he didn't mean those things he said. She's a long way from home. You're a good, decent girl, dear, and you're not made for Hollywood. I was 15 once myself. I wanted to be just like Clara Bow and wear lovely dresses and kiss handsome men. But once I grew up and married your father, I realized I would never be have been happy in that life. You'll realize it one day too, I'm sure. And... Aunt June? June? Oh, June's looking after you, June Ballard, I'm guessing. But I can't help worrying. You know what your old mother's like. The world is a very dangerous place for young girls, especially ones with stars in their eyes. Stars are nice to look at, but sometimes they can blind you to what's on, what's not, uh, what's right in front of your nose. Emma and Molly miss you awfully. Emma's getting so pretty now, and little Molly's bright as a button. It's just like you were at her age. They need their big sister to look out for them. Dear, dear Jessie, please come back. I'm frightened for you. I can't help feeling something terrible is going to happen. I cry for you every night. Your love, your lovely, goddamn, your lovely, sorry, your loving mother. Freaking. Was it? Okay. Camille Hamilton? Whatever. Ugh. I had license plate. And does that really matter? Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what Peaked. you think. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him, Horatio. Mm. Is it Hamilton? real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or Thank maybe God it's not real. I wouldn't want to hold a real shrunken head. What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever oh. did it, one of these women dead. Right to them. Did them. Hmm. Anyway, you can have that back for your collection. How does someone manage to tip their ride straight off a cliff? If the driver's in a fit state, we should ask. All right. Man, you see that? That's why I went to the military. Green. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's Hurdles. okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you no. tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. What? For a cop? Maybe what do you a mean? a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts. You? Beast I don't like. Oh. Keep out of this. Okay, a uh, doping allegation? We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. 
I can't remember. There was that, huh? Oh, oh, you can't remember, right? But you look like you're chuckling under your breath. <coughs> yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> I don't believe you, Mrs. McAfee. The story's too far-fetched. I think you were drunk and lost control of the car. Oh. Well, I suggest you get the results of a blood test first before you go shooting no off problem. your mouth. No problem. I'll shoot you and get the blood Unless sample. Unless you have some other proof. <clears throat> Sorry. My mistake. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. Mark Bishop? Hmm? Oh, write that down, write that down. Mark Bishop. Mm-hmm. The uh, double what underline that. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? Uh, well, you didn't answer my question. You're laughing under your face again. Accuse! I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. Do you have any proof? Um, I mean... Uh, the underwear. Miss Hamilton's underwear were physically torn from her body. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a casting. Mm -hmm. Whatever happened after casting. that was between her <laughs> and Mark Bishop. Mark Bishop. Ooh, that's a triple underline for his name now. You know, you mentioned it two we times found in a, a row. a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see... I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. I don't know about that. Mrs. McAfee, you're lying. You're wasting our time. You know what's going on here. You just won't tell us. You're sweet, but simple too. The burden of proof is with the law. Well, you're right on that account, but, uh... Looks like I was mistaken. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. Oh, and really? the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. You're, you're kind of a bad Why actress. Why you ask Mark Bishop, which... Mark Bishop, oh, that's a quadruple underline now, you know. Kind of bad actress, though. You can't keep a straight face. Come on. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement... <sighs> you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. You know, I'm kind of getting tired of this. You know, That's a on. lie, and you know it. This goes deeper than that. I'm sorry. Maybe you'd like to go ahead and prove that, honey. Honey, how dare you? You know what? Never mind. I don't like I made a mistake. want to prove it now. Anyway, you're lying. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it. And this is where I end up. Mrs. McAfee. I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. Okay. Officers, you're doing your job quite well. No one has come back, you know, so. Let's see, well. Really? 
consciousness and sent her receiving hospital. 11K Roger, en route. Ah, uh, this is dead ends. I'll head back this way. Totally legal to reverse. Freaking on that side of the road. Because I'm a cop, I can do that. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, oh, try to spare oh, the general oh, population, oh, please. Oh, 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 you know, it's fine. She's fine. The tire marks will come out. Anyway, Central Receiving Hospital, 8.13 a.m. She's fine. Totally fine. The hospital is right this way, you know, in case anything bad happens. She can come right here. After she's scraped off the pavement. Hello, Detective Phelps. Anyway. Here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Oh, yes. She's in the room right behind you, Detective. You can't hold me here. No, I don't need to be manhandled by a doctor. I need my lawyer. Hey, where oh. is the telephone? Do you know who I am? Oh. She's one of those. Hello, doctor. I'm Detective Phelps. You're attending to the young lady from the auto accident? Yes. She's conscious now, but I doubt she'll remember much. She's still feeling some of the after effects. Jessica was drugged? She certainly was. Chloral hydrate would be my guess, and there's clear evidence of abuse. Chloral She's hydrate. still a minor detective. Mm. Someone planned a double murder to cover up a statutory rape? Swapped mm. seven years for life and gets Guy McAfee on their case? Doesn't make much sense to me. Mm. I guess it depends on what they had to lose. You're feeling better since this morning, Jessica? A little. My head still feels swimmy. Oh. Uh, let's see, head trauma, soft tissue damage, car accident, visual traces of uh, hydrating blood dream, external bruising to genitals, evidence of criminal abuse, a bunch of stats, probably fine. Hmm. Okay. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Okay, well now, you're lying. Why? Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I, I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. Mm. That was the price of stardom. Did mm. she now? cold-hearted bitch. It's not Junie's fault. It's not my first time. Whoa. I had a boyfriend back home, but my father found out about him. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. In 15, I think. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. Why are you lying, Jessica? Come on. You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, Detective, why would I lie to you? Well, you know, a letter from your mother doesn't indicate that. Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I would... Now, now hold on a minute. She... She's a runaway from freaking Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and she came to Los Angeles, freaking California, at the age of 15. <laughs> well, did she take a train there or something? Like, my God, that's a hell of a distance to travel, even 
more so back then. So you know, I just journey to this strange place. It's crazy. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. Mm. 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 Okay. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. You know, you know, I, what did she say? Let's see. Uh, how do you? How did you? Okay, I'm I'm, I'm going to trust her. What do you know about her? Uh, she makes movies. I had to do a screen test. I wasn't sure with the face. You That's know. when you say some lines in front of the camera with the lights turned on you. Oh, no. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Yeah, I don't want to be harsh on her. Mm -hmm. Jessica, I really need you to help me here. I remember the mermaid. Was the mermaid in the movie too? No, it was on the front of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Sure, chose lie. If you think of anything one. or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? Okay, well. It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. Ooh, music kicked in there. Dramatic. But you probably don't hear that. There she goes. Come on. Oh, uh, yes. Two car lengths. <laughs> Excuse me. Ballard is definitely up to something. You don't say that she's up to something, huh? Who would have thunk that? She seems probably, to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. I'm probably going to call her husband, Mark Bishop. Wait, no, that's not her husband. What, what, what am I saying? Mark Bishop was the guy she wants to go after. But, uh, no. You know, I mean, she's going to go after Mark Bishop. Because that's the only name that crosses her freaking lips right now. Get in there and see what she's up to. Okay. Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. 
Sure, I got the film. Mm. You know, they said it was inaudible, but I could kind of make out the sentences. Wait for her to leave. Don't want to come out. Okay. <laughs> so what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit, you better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Or he'd have done the job properly. McAfee will break a fella's legs just McCaffey, for looking that's, at his broad that's that's fine, that's fine. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. True, yes. <laughs> So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? Mm. Uh. That is a question. All units in the vicinity in car 11K, 11 oh. King, a 415 in progress at apartment 803, Wilson's Apartment Hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park, 11K code 3, all other units code 2, KGPL clear. Gun it! Let's get to the apartment before someone gets hurt. It's time for a crime. <laughs> this is 11K. We'll handle the 459. Why not? You got a good track record with jewelry stores. What does that supposed to mean, Bukowski? Amateur hour. You got that safe open yet, or what? Your girlfriend is looking over my shoulder again. I swear she says one more word. Honey, it's best if you let him work. Floyd, you better hurry up. That was a hell of a crash we made getting Floyd? In. Okay, no, I think that's a different story. LAPD, hands up, all of you. Jesus. Jake, Morty, come and blast his cop. Morty. They're upstairs. Upstairs. This wasn't my idea, mister. You keep an eye on the girl. Get <coughs> <Better> move, <coughs> mister. Come get me. Let me just reload. There he is. Blast him. Blast him. I'm going to go My hand. Keep those hands up. What? Give it up, LAPD. Hey, Bukowski, get up. I'm sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, well, she's fine. LAPD, out of the car, lady. Hey, you're the only survivor, luckily. Had I not reload, needed to reload, freaking, you would have been dead. Okay, anyway, back to uh, whatever crime case we were at before. Bishop's apartment, 9.59 a.m. You the cops? I tried to stop them. It's, it's room 803, left out of the elevator. Now we just gotta take the elevator ride. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. <sighs> Oh, well, um, do that pretty fast. Left out of the elevator. Give it up! 
LAPD! I'm Other. about to break your goddamn <laughs> jaw. Oh, I've got out of fight. I've got out of fight. I'll curse you and your children. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Come on. Did you see that? What just happened? Mm. I'd say they got the casting couch there. Yeah, blue suit guy. Totally just. <clears throat> I would have been green suit guy. Are you injured, Mrs. Bishop? I'm all right now. Those horrible, awful men. Perhaps you should sit down, ma'am. Yes. Yes. Forgive me, officers. I'm very flushed. I'll just sit down for a moment. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Take a moment while we look around. Yes. I need my hat. Just look at this mess. My hat. There it is. There. Okay, well, I mean, that's a vase, that's nothing. That's a New Testament. Gay cowboys. And we got the stairwell. Freaking a. For. Four meters? Foreigners? What am I? I don't know. What? Gay Cowboys, huh? Presented to Mark. Silver screen props? Mm, okay. Ooh, twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand dollars. Well. I know what I can do with it. Pocket it. You know, mm -hmm. I won't be needing it. Eh, up, nothing. A hairbrush. Ooh, a ring. Maybe. If... No. More money, pocket that, come on. It doesn't appear to be connected. Okay. Some cigars? Probably Definitely not. take these, come on, man, what the heck? Looks like the old movie set downtown. Mm. Okay. Great Wall of Tolerance. A replica of a replica. Hmm? Oh, matchbook. Seems irrelevant. Okay. Why? Take the cognac or scotch or whatever the hell this is. It would take a smarter man than me to connect Most that. Most Diablos. Tequila then? Oh yes, the these salad utensils tell me anything. totally are you know important to the case. And no, that just a cup. Some books, probably nothing. Photograph. Mm -hmm. Looks like we found our mermaid. Oh, Who are these mermaid. men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Uh, which one's which? 
can't really. Yeah, I mean. Oh, all clues are gotten. Okay, domestic Those disturbance. Men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. Ooh. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Okay, well, look at that. You expect me to believe you with that face? I have no evidence to say that you are linked to his business, but, you know, I'm just... You're lying to cover for your husband. Do you know what you'll get for aiding and abetting? I've been abused and slapped, and now I'm accused of lying? Oh, God, she's got me right. You know, never mind. You're off the hook for now. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June oh, Ballard? Oh, very we rude. The same picture Clutch those pearls back. of yours. That's how I met my husband. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Okay, I mean, apart from blinking just in uh, a little too much, you know, I think she's telling the truth. But accuse. You're lying, Gloria. He knows he has to get out of town, and you're covering for him. I'm tired of this, and you have nothing to go on. It's true. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that? Either we find him, or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Okay. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? You dodged the question. Oh, and then look at this. I'm going to accuse you just Lying, Mrs. Bishop. It. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, Detective? Uh, well, I mean, there's a check, but that doesn't... Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. I think she's, you know, just bad cop. Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Mm, all answers lead to Hopgood so far. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. You know exactly what happened yesterday, don't you, Mrs. Bishop? You've been through it yourself. I'm going to call my lawyer. You have a damn cheek oh. accusing me of that. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Don't call your lawyer. You don't ask, you never find out. Anyway, you're lying. Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is, my husband likes them young. <clears throat> and you think <clears throat> that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. <clears throat> I thought he was a genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Yeah, that's what it seems Happens like. to a lot of girls. Unfortunately, yes. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. 
He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. I'm a big boy. There's always a well, deal to be done. Thank you. Am I gonna use her phone, you know, once again? This is a you know a witness. I'd rather not talk about An sensitive movie star, case a details. Star, movie producer's wife. We're finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. Around some of the stories that you lie to me. None of them can act. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, do you have a phone? Ah, yes. Operator, give me dispatch. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Third and Figueroa, okay. Next location is the only location. newspaper that's not the newspaper we need. Have a good day, sir. We'll be on our way. <laughs>